Exactly. I ain't holding back for shit. Bump my misery. Alright? This is me. You guys know about Pitch Black? This is my shit, actually. They had a couple of really good bangers from Primo, you know what I mean, back in the day. So, again, cats you don't know about, people don't talk about them, but they got better records than 99% of cats that people are talking about now that get overrated and overhyped and all that nonsense. Yannick is walked through the valley of death. See me coming black. <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> I was hard. Anyway, uh, Primo, of course, on the beat. Fire. I'll link a couple more joints below. Um, I was watching Doggy Diamond's interview and with Rod Digger. Fantastic interview, by the way. Shout out to Doggy Diamonds. I never met the brother. I don't know him like that at all, but he does some great journalistic work. And this one was about Rod Digger. It was very, very enlightening and probably the best interview I've seen with Rod Digger, period. So, really went into her whole history and the outsiders and everything. But one thing that came out of that interview was the fact that Megan Thee Stallion used to be Q-Tip's artist. And that was really surprising to me. I'd never even, I had no idea, right? And I've always said this, man, I've always suspected this, but I, you know, sometimes you suspect things and you think, oh, you're crazy for thinking it. But I've always said, man, every whack person that's in the game right now, there's usually someone respected behind them. You know what I mean? Like, rappers don't just show up out of nowhere, especially right now. A lot of them are getting co-signs from people you don't even know about or underneath, but they've got someone beneath them, you know what I'm saying? Now, Megan Thee Stallion is not somebody that I listen to or care about, but, you know, she's out here, and you would never know that she used to be Q-Tip's artist, right? These people, like, they make it seem like they're just selected out of nowhere, or not selected, I mean, they just happened to have a buzz, they were doing really well, and, you know, they, had, they managed to get an organic following and all that nonsense. I mean, I'm sure it happens with some artists, but I would argue a lot of these cats it's forced. It's forced, 100%. So, I'm not impressed. But, hey, there you go. And that's why you'll never hear them talk, you know, honestly about how they feel, who's whack, and really sort of break it down and be honest about it. They're not going to do that, right? There's a lot of relationships and conflicts of interest. So, when you guys are out here trusting cosigns, it's like, okay, if you want to, go ahead. But I don't. I just look at the music. Is the music good or not? I don't care who, who likes it, who says they like it. People say all kinds of shit. Anyway, another time.